Hello everyone, uh, this is uh, Professor Oz Uzol from Department of Aerospace Engineering at the Middle East Technical University in Ankara, uh, Turkey and uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to have a virtual tour of our large-scale wind tunnel at the Center for Wind Energy Research, also known as RUSGAM, at uh, the Middle East Technical University, METU. So what you're seeing right now is the METU campus from above, up above, and uh, it's a big area with all the departments. And over here, uh, here is the uh, Department of Aerospace Engineering, and here is RUSGAM, where we have uh, the wind tunnel. This is the Center for Wind Energy Research. Over this area, we have student uh, dormitories. So let's uh, go to RUSGAM build building. Okay, so this is the entrance of the RUSGAM building. Uh, very nice, uh, we nice weather, very sunny day. So over here, this is kind of our big parking lot, and over here we have a test, small test turbine uh, manufactured, designed and manufactured by one of the Metutech companies. Metutech basically owns hundreds of uh, small uh, technology companies, so they installed their wind turbine here, and they are collecting data and sharing their, their data with us for analysis. Uh, over to the left, you can see here, over here, we have the laboratory building of Department of Aerospace Engineering and over here we have student uh, dormitory buildings. So let's uh, walk in to the RUSGAM building. Okay, so this is the entrance hallway. Basically, uh, if I just turn my back, we just enter through this door, enter the building through this door. We have here on the left a nice model of our wind tunnel, 150 scale of uh, our wind tunnel. Through the stairs you can go up to the upper levels where we have our offices. Now on this level, through this door, we go to the main uh, hallway, main hangar building where we have the large wind tunnel. We will go there in a second. And over here we have our uh, aerodynamics laboratory where uh, we have smaller wind tunnels. So first let's get in there and let's see what we have. So if you just walk in here, basically uh, this is what we see. We have three small wind tunnels here. Uh, so we have one wind tunnel on the left, as you can see this one here. Um, this is an uh, open return type atmospheric uh, wind tunnel. This, uh, it has, you can see this white part, it, is, it's, uh, it has a contraction, it has an inlet, and then a one meter by one meter cross section, and it's eight meters long, goes up to about 20 to 25 meter per second wind speeds. It is driven by its fan at the back. So we use this tunnel for many different purposes, for many academic studies, PhD research, uh, lots of experiments on wind turbine wake modeling related to wind turbine wake modeling, porous disk wake measurements, small wind turbines, um, uh, porous disk operating in boundary layer and some vortex generator type of research. And in our research, we use all kinds of instrumentation. We, on the other side of the wind tunnel, we have a PIV system. We have a high speed and low speed PIV systems and uh, all kinds of pressure measurement systems, hot wire systems as well. So the, the tunnel in the middle, this is actually an open jet, uh, but the jet exit is on the other side. So from this view, we cannot see it. So what you're seeing is the uh, inlet of this tunnel, which is actually an axial fan, as you can see here. And it uh, issues the jet on the other side, which is 1.7 meter diameter. So we use it for also different academic research purposes. On the very right hand side, we have this yellow small uh, wind tunnel. Uh, this is 35 centimeter by 35 centimeter cross-section wind tunnel. It's a small uh, wind tunnel. We use it mostly for uh, some very fundamental research um, related to turbulence grids, fractal turbulence grids. We have used it previously uh, for those purposes and we use it also for probe calibration.
In the middle we are building up a new calibration facility which has a nice calibration jet and fully automatized angular uh, adjustments. So we use this for calibrating hot wires and also calibrating uh, pressure probes, all kinds of pressure probes, pitot-static probes, firefall probes, etc. So this is basically uh, our wind tunnel uh, aerodynamics laboratory, I'm sorry. And then if we just again walk out from the door that we went in, we are back in the hallway and then let's go into the large hall, uh, hangar part, uh, large hallway where we have the large wind tunnel. Okay, so now we're here. This is the large hangar building which uh, basically includes this uh, our large Rusgam large scale wind tunnel. So we just went in through this door. And the windows here are, are basically our uh, offices and some small laboratories on the other side of the building. Just uh, to give you an idea about the size of the wind tunnel, this wind tunnel this, uh, it's fully uh, constructed from steel and this blue steel part is 7 meters high. So you can have an idea about uh, the size. It's quite big and then um, if you walk over here the flow basically comes from left to right we have a contraction here which which has a contraction ratio of 8 and then we have the test area now what you're currently seeing is in the test area we have what we call the open jet configuration in the open jet configuration we have these orange parts so the flow comes from left to right and you, as you can see they are not connected so the uh, jet gets issued from from here from left to right and then it gets sucked in back into the tunnel loop through this collector here so uh, in this open jet test section uh, we can reach up to 75 to 78 meters per second and it has uh, a three meter equivalent diameter i will show it a little bit show more about it in a second now these orange parts uh, all sit on air bearings, what we call air bearings. And when these air bearings are inflated or pressurized, you can basically push them out just by, just by hand. So few people, maybe uh, four to five people, can just push them out, push them along these guide rails uh, on these air bearings and push them out of this test area. And when we push these out, we actually we in general we put them over this section and they uh, go through this guide rail and then they're uh, basically out of the test area when these are out we can install the other test section parts so you see uh, this orange uh, uh, part uh, this is a 2.5 meter by 2.5 meter cross section uh, test section so when this goes in instead of the open jet this part gets uh, fully closed so from this blue part all the way down here it is it becomes a closed test section uh, in which we can get wind speeds up to 100 meters per second so uh, these pieces also sit on air bearings and can be pushed by hand into this test area so uh, let me walk in to the to this test area to see a little bit up close the open jet so as you can see this is the exit of the open jet it has an octagonal test uh, octagonal cross section and um, the equivalent diameter is about three meters and as i said we can go up to 75 to 78 meters per second and this is the collector on the far side we see windows these are the windows of the control room so in uh, in which we have our computers and uh, automation and control system uh, through which we control the entire operation of the wind tunnel so for the open jet tests we either use simple platforms like this uh, on top of which we basically install it's a fixed platform we install whatever we want to test or uh, it's not in this picture but we have also uh, movable platforms which which can go up and down uh, so we can uh, basically place whatever we want to test and then raise it up put it into the airflow and do whatever uh, experiment we want to do and then we can lower it back so uh, this is basically our main test hall and we can walk out from this test hall through this door 
Yes, so we just walked out from this door and we are on the other side of the uh, tunnel right now. So here you see these uh, the other test section parts. So this is the one that I was talking about. This is 2.5 meter by 2.5 meter and uh, in which we have we can have we can reach 100 meters per second wind speed and you see the main loop of the wind tunnel the flow comes from here turns and then turns again and then goes to the other side uh, in which actually we have another test area so you can see bits and pieces from our some of from some of our previous tests here and you see a red stairs that is going up that goes up to the control room so let's go there so here we are in the control room and uh, basically you see the computers in through these computers we uh, basically run the tunnel we control the entire operation we have a big screen here in this big screen basically we display all the relevant parameters the wind speeds temperatures pressures humidity levels fan vibration uh, parameters fan uh, temperatures uh, and uh, all the relevant parameters that are uh, all the parameters that are relevant to the operation of the wind tunnel uh, also we control the data acquisition from here as well so this is uh, basically our control room uh, very simple and then you can we can actually walk into the other side of the uh, wind tunnel or the other side of the loop and we are inside the bound what we call the boundary layer test section so this is what we call the atmospheric boundary layer test section this is three meters high seven meters wide and 20 meters long and as you can see we have a 6.5 meter diameter large turntable uh, in the middle of which we uh, place what we would whatever we want to test right now a small i mean small meaning 1.5 meter high uh, model of a high-rise skyscraper is here and then uh, this uh, is uh, this test section is uh, designed to generate a proper boundary layer, uh, simulating atmospheric boundary layer. Uh, and uh, this is this test section is more proper or more appropriate for civil engineering type of tests, like high-rise buildings, stadiums, uh, suspension bridges, and all of that. If I turn my back. Let me turn my back here and there we go. We have the six fans that are running, that are used for running the wind tunnel. So each of these fans uh, are driven. These are uh, two meter diameter axial fans. Each one of them is driven by a 400 kilowatt electric motor. So we have uh, 2.4 megawatt of power here that is used for driving uh, these fans. These fans are driven through uh, low harmonic uh, and uh, regenerative drives. So these fans are all designed by us and they are manufactured and integrated into the wind tunnel loop uh, by a local manufacturer here in Ankara. And uh, also the control and automation system is all designed by us. So if uh, I can walk over to this part uh, in this in the test section over here in this black part in reality we have a honeycomb which you cannot see the uh, details so if I turn my back now we have the full view uh, of the uh, atmospheric boundary layer test section with the turntable model placed and the fans uh, all the way back so basically uh, and in this test section uh, we can go up to 30 meters per second wind speed at uh, maximum uh, fan power at 2.4 megawatts 2.4 megawatts is about one third of the entire power uh, power uh, of uh, power necessity uh, necess power required by metro campus so if I walk out from this door, I'm back in the control room. So again, walk out this door. I am back in the hallway, seeing the main loop. And if I just quickly walk here, again, I'm in the plenum chamber where we have test, uh, open jet test configuration. And just walk out here. And I'm back uh, where I started in the hangar building. So, so thanks very much for joining me in this virtual tour. If you are interested and want to get more information, please send email as given in the explanations. Thank you very much.